All right, I'm going to show you all something. This is hopefully the first of many. Look right here. Hank, what'd you find, boy? Come here, boy. What'd you find? My good old Hank, man. He went and found him a turkey. This is 200 and something yards. And uh, my buddy of mine, he come up and was hunting with me. And he told me, he said, I don't know. He's like, I thought I could see the arrow hanging out of him, but he wasn't sure. And uh, the turkey ran a good 150 yards out of sight, 100 yards, about 100 yards. And we didn't find any blood until we got another 100 yards probably out of sight before we found blood. Well, no, it was about maybe 200 yards total to the first blood. And then we got another 100 yards through a bunch of thick brush. And we started finding blood all in there. And Hank, this is his first turkey to track. I've never used him on a turkey, and I wasn't sure how he'd do. I told my buddy here, y'all check who's hunting with me. <laughs> Hank did this, a trick. This now, is probably going to go on bow hunt turkeys, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> We'd have never found this turkey without. I, I would have been sick. Yeah, I mean, went from the, from the uh, outhouse to the penthouse, thanks to Hank. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Steve Grace, for those of you who don't know. He's killed, I think, 300 plus turkeys with a bow? Uh, no, this Getting close to three. Getting close? So. Okay. Close to 300 turkeys with a bow. Yeah. So. Yep. It's a good two-year-old. Yep. And he thought that he, he might have. He said, I might have hit him. <coughs> well, I was from the hunt uh, the day before yesterday. Uh, we, uh, we hunted that morning before I killed that one. I killed that one in the evening time. And, uh. Made that bad hit on him, and Hank tracked him up for me. But anyway, it ended up great. Uh, and uh, but anyway, that morning earlier, we uh, we set up on a turkey or two, and uh, uh, one of them came in and saw something he didn't like. Turned around, went back, and the other one we called from across the property line, from uh, a long distance away, and uh, got him to come over there. And he kind of snuck around to the side, and he put it one time. And I uh, went off down the hill and started gobbling. And uh, so uh, the next morning, when we came back in there, we uh, heard that turkey gobbling, but he was way across the property line again. And, and we, just, I guess, kind of thinking maybe the odds of calling him back again like that was uh, was pretty slim. So early that morning, we found a couple of easier turkeys to get to. Set up on them. Might have got a little bit close to one of them, and he quit gobbling. I don't know whether he saw us or just flew down and quit gobbling. And and uh, the other one went the other way. And we bumped around here, there, and yonder, trying to find a uh, a turkey that we might could hunt. And uh, but we kept hearing this one way over there across that property line gobbling. And uh, finally, Justin said, "I, you know, I think this is gonna be our only chance." So we we made the decision to make the walk back in there. Got down in there, and uh, Justin kind of figured out where the turkey went the day before. Figured it was a good spot down there. It was a real pretty place down there to set up on one, and uh, we went down there and set up. Old turkeys gobbling across the property line, well across the property line. I mean, it seemed like a quarter of a mile or better to me. I could just barely. Sometimes I couldn't hear him. Justin could, but uh, anyway, we got to yelping a little from inside the blind. Nothing was really going on. Uh, turkey wouldn't gobbling much or we couldn't hear him and uh, we decided to get out of the blind and start pouring it on him pretty good and I was yelping on my slate and uh, Justin was gobbling with his mouth and yelping and I was Jake yelping on the slate and yelping with the diaphragm and we were separated we uh, kind of got about 40 yards apart doing all that to make it sound like two different turkeys for sure and and we kind of came together and did a little yep and separated again and, and uh, just created a big ruckus and we got that turkey fired up. I mean, he was gobbling at everything we was throwing at him and uh, in just a minute it sounded like he was getting a little bit closer. And <clears throat> we decided to get back in the blind and the turkey got quiet on us. We know we knew from the day before he got quiet when he came in. So it was like, maybe, maybe he's just coming our way. And it wasn't just a few minutes after he got quiet, Justin raised this fist up to fist bump me. I said, he, I thought to myself, he's done heard something I hadn't heard. And he was hearing him drum, and he said, I can hear him drum. And, and uh, sure enough, the turkey gobbled out there about, probably about 50 yards away. And uh, 
we're going to pick up the action just before that. A hen had came in, and uh, we're going to pick up, uh, pick up the action right there. Dang it, that went awesome. <laughs> Smoked him right. Oh, that was some coal in there, buddy. Man, we pulled that sucker in from a mile. <laughs> you cut his head off, I think. God, I think I did, too. It looked like it hit it right center. there. It looked like it center punched his head. <laughs> God, what a hunt. That was a hunt, 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 hunt. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Why isn't that thing out in here with Justin Miller? We just we just called a turkey that we called up yesterday. We called him up from a half mile yesterday and called him up a, from a, from yeah. the same spot today. Same spot. But this time we had a better setup and uh, I just killed a piss him. out of him. <laughs> I think he cut his head I off. Think I, I think it hit him right there, I right above his waddles. I think it did. I think it did. And. Uh, and he ain't going nowhere. He's still flopping. I think he's dying now. Oh, that's some good footage. That was some good. I wanted to milk it a little longer, <laughs> but when the guide says, I think you ought to take him, you ought to take him. <laughs> he was just standing. You taught so me into it. He was standing I'm, so still, I couldn't not shoot him. I'm like, you better shoot while he's standing yeah, he like that. Just, and then he turned straight for me, and I don't like that shot. I, when it, when, at the time, he was standing still, and I could have yeah. went right beside the neck into the body. I had a better angle. But when he turned facing straight on, I said, I don't like this, but I took it anyway. 
And it did. I liked it. He it. smoked him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we pulled everything. What we? we were gobbling, gobbling, cutting, Jake gulping, purring, cutting, Man, purring. <laughs> we we made it sound like a fuss down here. I mean, it was, and you could barely hear him. He was up on top of this ridge, and it was so far that you could almost not hear him gobble. That was cool. That was some cool that, stuff. Yep, that's cool. You gotta <laughs> go, don't you? Let's go. <laughs> I don't care what he is, he was one of the most beautiful turkeys I've ever seen, whether he's the biggest or not. And he came in he from came forever, in. and we called him in yesterday. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, it's here. It just popped right through something. Yeah, I cut his head off. I thought he did. I thought he did. Oh, man. Man, look at them good hooks. That is some, that's, that's a fun That's a nice turkey. looking bird, man. Golly. Look at them hooks. Man, a good inch and a quarter. Yeah, a good inch and a quarter. And his head is decapitated. Officially Got a little high. Well, it, he was full it, strut. It full strut. It, it caught the back too. Yeah. It yeah. went through the, and then oh, and just then just ripped up in the back. Him. It's kind of a. You won't get to sell that head. Uh. -uh. Not a sellable head. That head got whacked. Yeah. Got whacked. Good bird though. Real good bird. Mm -hmm. Pretty bird. All right. Yeah. Big old fool, mature, three three plus year old. We knew. What we knew he was gonna be old. Yesterday we, we felt like we did. Yesterday we called him in and he came in and he saw something he didn't like and we never did even see him. We just heard one single putt and it was, it was over. And he never gobbled coming in, so we, we at first thought it wasn't him and then the next thing we know we hear him gobble down in this valley behind us and so we knew it was him. He had come in, got by us and went on by. And uh, this morning we were just about ready to go. I mean, we had called it quits on him really. We couldn't move any closer. We liked moving closer, but he was on another property we couldn't get on. And uh, we couldn't move any closer, so we hung out right here and just kept on hacking, didn't we? Well, we hacked away. <laughs> <laughs> I had a diaphragm in. I was working the diaphragm, working the slate. Yeah. Justin was working his diaphragm and gobbling out of it like crazy. And, mm. and, uh, All right. 